Hello everyone, welcome back to the Tarot Tanvi. I am Tanvi, this is my studio and this is your weekly prediction for the air signs that is Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. So we will be going in that particular order in this video. So firstly I will be reading for Gemini and then for uh, Libra and then for Aquarius. Uh, so yeah, so before I go on and read your cards, I would just like to remind you that Tarot is something that only reads your future possibilities. You have to, by the end of the day, create your own future. Your destiny lies in your hands and not in anybody else's hands. So let's get started with Gemini. So hello Gemini. Uh, this is your weekly prediction for May 9 to May 16. So for your oracle cards, we have major challenge to overcome. And then we have a goldfish increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. Then for your tarot, we have... Um, the Empress, which is a major arcana. Then we have the Two of Cups. And then we have the Ace of Wands. So firstly, Gemini, I feel like um, with the card Major Challenge to Overcome, I think this is more of like a mental struggle. And also with the card which says Increase in Material Wealth or Spiritual Growth, I do feel like there are unnecessary worries going on in your head. I do in general, uh, you know, believe that worrying is sort of like a waste of time emotion getting my point because understand the one thing that if there is a problem and problems will always be there in our lives i think we all take life for granted and we assume that one day life will be without any problems but that never really happens you know because it is just that our approach towards facing every single problem should change also, another misconception that most people have is that the more successful you are, the less problems you have or the higher post you get, the less responsibilities you will have. That's really completely bizarre and untrue. I feel like you really need to develop a sense of inner strength and independence this week uh, because your challenges are more psychological, I feel. Because with the spiritual growth, I do feel that this is sort of pushing you out of your comfort zone. The Empress is a person who's very happy. So this is like one of the happiest cards. I do feel like this is your future energy. If not towards the beginning of this week, this is how you, what you should be aiming towards feeling right, you know. And I never want to encourage that, you know, you should be suppressing your negative emotions. But acknowledge them, feel them, to heal them, seek out help. But your end goal has to be to reach optimism and positivity you know you cannot stay stuck in negativity negativity is very contagious be it criticism judging others judging yourself and you know what not it's all quite contagious with the two of cups as well i do feel like there's a lot of internal balance that's going on that has to be the main theme same as with the ace of wands i do feel like there's a lot of passion that you have and you know you want to pursue your goals but you're a little worried about your material success i would say the material success would, would follow because this is exactly the kind of energy and this is like an, a confirmation that there will be an increase in material wealth so don't worry however i'm also getting another strong message that remember that the attention span of a goldfish is very small i don't know what exactly is the number but I know that it's very small. So, uh, yeah, like pay attention to what's happening in your head, you know, like be very mindful of the thoughts that you are giving too much attention and energy onto and the activities that you invest into, you know, you're investing time into. Uh, yeah, so that's all that I have for you, Gemini. I, I hope that this was helpful in some way and it made some sense. And I'll see you again next time. And don't forget to check out your sun, moon and rising sign as well. Hello Libra, so uh, this is your weekly prediction for May 9th to May 16th. So for your oracle cards, we have Veil, which says great worry over nothing. Then we have Heart, which says love, deep affection and caring. And then for your uh, tarot cards, we have Four of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Swords. And we have the Empress. You know what I'm getting with uh, this particular reading Libra is the fact that there's a huge struggle between your mind and your heart and I haven't sort of like read this kind of an energy I don't know uh, but this seems very different because it says that it's like your mind is filled with unnecessary worries and fears oh my god what if this happens what if that happens what if this happens what if that happens and I think you put too much energy into that but your heart is filled with a lot of faith that no matter what you know that everything's going to work out and that's what the, what's there in your heart like love affection and caring but and that's exactly what the tarot cards are also talking about the four of pentacles is a person who's very stubborn 
sorry. <laughs> so I'm getting hiccups. So yeah, maybe you need to drink a lot of water. I do feel that there's like a need to stay hydrated as well. Uh, but at the same time, the Four of Pentacles talks about a person who's very stubborn to let go of things that are not working. And you know, I'm I'm too stubborn to let go of my negative thinking because understand that there are multiple kinds of addictions. Gossiping is also an addiction. Uh, negative thinking is also an addiction, and of course, there is addiction to um, you know substance. Uh, abuse so i do feel like there's that's also another message and with the ten of swords i feel ten of swords talks about uh ending your stresses um i feel like you'll have to take the decision a conscious decision to follow your heart the love and care that's there in your heart and not listen to your mind that sort of or anxiety that's trying to fool you into believing that everything around you is wrong or people around you are going down south or everything is wrong and only you are right only i am right you know a little bit of a prideful energy because with the empress energy as well i'm getting that you know again that caring and nurturing side because empress is a card that's very happy she's a very happy person she's very caring she's very motherly she's very loving and affectionate but yeah i do feel like there's this constant struggle of wanting to find that libra balance but not having that balance between your mind and your heart i really say that this week find the love that lies in your heart don't lock that love up it is there to be felt and love always feels better than hate we all know that you know it it would feel much better to you so that's all that i have for you libra i hope that this was helpful in some minute made some sense please don't forget to check out your sun moon and rising sign as well to get a bigger picture and a better picture of what's going to happen this week Hello Aquarius so this is your weekly prediction for May 9th to May 16th so for your oracle cards we have flag which says do not be tempted to lower your standards and torch spiritual develop development uh, enlightenment awareness and, and understanding for your tarot we have the four of pentacles then we have the nine of wands and then we have the three of swords in the reverse So what I would like to say with these cards is like I know that the cards are not that great but the message that I'm getting is quite actually powerful because I feel like you are not going to let anybody get you out of your power. We're entering the period of Mercury retrograde on May 10th this week and I feel like there might be people from your past trying to tempt you back into your old habits or you might be you know getting a lot of past triggers and past memories but you will realize in those moments how much you've grown because this time you will be acting differently you will not be reacting but you will be acting differently to those situations which you have already encountered in your past So I do feel like do not be tempted to lower your standards don't be tempted to lower your own standards the spiritual development and a lot of awareness and understanding with the four pentacles really like it's I don't know this is like a very positive energy I, although the cards are not honestly they're not that great but with the three of swords in the reverse it's like you don't care about your past heartbreaks or things that are, that you used to worry about in the past i feel like you are fearless now with the nine of wands i feel like this is this is usually the wounded warrior but i feel like this is just a warrior you know and of course you'll have wounds of course you we all have scars but it's like you wear your scars like you know your medals you know and uh, you take a lot of pride in that and i love this energy for you aquarius this week really own your uh, own the fact that you're so different from others and the four of pentacles really talks about you know you being very careful with whom you invest your energy and time into and with yeah so that's all that i have for you uh, aquarius i hope that this was helpful in some way and it made some sense and i'll see you again next time and please don't forget to check out your sun moon and rising sign as well to get a better clear and clearer and bigger picture of what is coming up this week and i'll see you again next time bye bye take care